It's not rung once. Have you not gone out for dinner? Do you not realise who's going on concerts this this fucking year? No, for real. It's mad. I'm not doing the breakfast this morning, no. Um, I might... I'm just... I'm waiting. I'm making some segment intros. Do you know what? For the next couple of days, what I'm doing is I'm resetting. I'm sitting down. I'm writing. Um... I'm going to be editing as well because I want to do something new. It's still going to be the breakfast and ha- what we normally do, but it's going to be less gossip orientated because it's the same shit with the nit nits. What's Marcus M's done? How toxic is Milton Keynes? Fucking CLA on another rant. Like, it's all funny and stuff, but I want to try and step away from it because do you know what nothing gets resolved you could be racist nothing will get resolved you can be a schmontz nothing will get resolved you can manipulate someone do you know what's opened my eyes a certain situation that happened whilst I was in Turkey no the new rules won't affect my show Um, what happened in Turkey when I was in Turkey and all that bullshit and I thought do you know what like, it's all just going to go back to normal people forget about it, you know? Yeah, but the thing is, the Knit Knit News is just a small segment. It's just a small segment that I do. I don't do a full FYP show. I don't do a full, like, FYP talk about others. Mine's, like... Mine's, um... What's the word? Well, your old news, Zach... I'm old news. <laughs> Good. I don't want to be current news. I want to be a trendsetter. Yeah, I like to do like random stuff. Yeah, mine's a mix. Yeah, it's, mine's a mix of everything. And will I have the nit nit news? Probably a small portion because we like to see what's going on and people want to know my um, what's the word? people want to know my opinion you know but with the dark dingy deep stuff like people talking about ca and like this whole stuff of like i don't know it's just very exploitation you know ah you fat pig oh Oh, straight on my stomach it's uh yeah and i think when you're talking about people's like trigger warning by the way when you're talking about people's like CA or SA or DV and who's lying and who's this it's traumatising like even, even like with my stuff when those fucking two idiot women came out and was like Aah! you know and I was like last year was an awful year for me and I was mentally in the worst place ever and I don't I don't preach about mental health I never sit there and say my mental health I have never said that when have I ever said that ever never like, I know what I do. I know on TikTok, sometimes the heat's going to get hot and you're going to have to deal with it. It's part of part of life, isn't it? It's part of adulthood. But then you get people that use mental health 24-7. Like, I sit there and think, these people... Like, I was sectioned, but you don't see me milking getting sectioned. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't see me milking getting sectioned. Morning, Hulky. You don't see me milking get a section and you get all these other creators that come on like rah, 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 and I just thought, oh my God. Like, really? It's just very, um... What's it? Contradicting. It's very contradicting. And I'm like, you're all fucking idiots. Yeah. Morning, poet. Morning, Willow. <laughs> Jilly, we love Mr Capone. Yeah, and it's like the same with me, like, when it's almost like who has... Yeah, he's got he, he, he's got a scab there. He's got a scab there, and um, what's the word? He keeps picking it. Yeah, it is, and it's like whose mental health is worse than whose or who's recovering from what, and it's just like, shut the fuck up. All of you, shut up. Like, everyone's depressed. We're all fucking depressed. It's what you make of it. If you're going to sit there and dwell on it and go, oh, someone called me a cunt. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm going to have a breakdown because you called me a C next Tuesday. Well, maybe you should get off the app and have a fucking Xanax then. Do you know what I mean? Maybe it ain't for you. Puppy with the manifesting. Does that make sense? It has. Ali, thank you. It really does. Like, being a viewer for the last week is, like... 
you know, like when I when I go like not go for people, but like are those two idiots from you know with the robotic receipts. I was listening to it and I was like, they're actual divs, man. Like they're dangerous people. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, being sectioned was one of the best things that ever happened to me. I had a great time. I've never felt more calm and relaxed in my life. Thank you, GW. Thanks, everyone. I never felt more relaxed in my life. Yeah, the Siri receipts. Oh, who are you barking at, bitch? You never bark. Oh, what is it? What is it? Oh, we're getting up. All right, we're getting up. We're up. Oh, oh. we're getting up, are we? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I've missed the hive. I'm so glad I've got you look back. <laughs> Big up for the money gun. I'm going to have a tea. So, I've lost a stone so far. Um, yeah, I've lost a stone. Which is great. And I'm, I can't eat anything until next week. Which is going to be sweet potato, jacket potato. Yeah. And I'm on, do you want to see my fridge? <laughs> Let me show you my fridge. Oh. I had quite a few pictures took of me yesterday. I felt like Alpha Bar at Nicki Minaj. This is my fridge. That's literally all I can have this week. And you're allowed clear fluids. It's really good, though. It's the best decision. I did get a sleeve. Because it just don't come off me. Even if I go to the gym, it don't come off me. So I was like, right, take it out. Take my stomach out. I don't need my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me off. Oh, no. The breakfast is probably going to be back. What day are we today? Wednesday. I might... Uh, do you know what? I'll, Friday. I might do a recap Friday. A recap Friday. But also, I want to open some stuff and talk to you lot. Like, I want, like... I want to know what pisses you off. Like, you know, open a box where you can have a rant. Like, even about your personal life. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if, you, if your man's pissing you off or your girlfriend's pissing you off or whatever, like, stuff like that where we can just have, like, a little coffee morning with the hive. Does that make sense? And, like, yeah, we can talk about other creators, but not stuff in a sense of where it's, like, negative, negative, you know? If they're just a bit of a a douche then say they're a douche but this whole we need to step away from this whole shm abuse thing because it's fucking heavy it's heavy we're talking about people's fucking life and it's only going to be a matter of time before someone <coughs> do you know what i mean i mean if you're getting trolled on the internet and you've got these big creators that are, right now if a, if there is a right this is what i want to say actually Never trust a creator that can give it but can't take it in a sense of <coughs> they they can cut chunks out of people, right, and absolutely tear them to shreds. Like certain creators do with EQ, you know, when they say about that, her, huh? or people do about, I don't know, other, other creators, do you know what I mean, how savage they can get. And then when they say, ah, my mental health, don't trust them. They ain't going to do shit. That's called schmoo my baiting. You know? Because, listen, do you think if some people said about me and I'm going, oh, God, I'm depressed. No, I'm like, bring it, bitch. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, take everything with a pinch of salt. If people say their mental health are bad, yet they can come and rant on TikTok, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. You know, my man, if my mental health's bad, you ain't seeing me. I'm eating, well, I can't even eat pizza now. I'm sniffing pizza. <laughs> I'm sniffing pizza. Like, I see all these creators, like, fat shaming or fucking taking the piss out of people's past addictions. I'm just like, you're trash, man. No, 
It's opened my eyes, and I I don't want to be. The, I don't want to set the bar. I want to be the bar. You know, I don't. I don't need to. I don't need the. What's it? Where's my green tea? Oh, don't tell me I haven't got any. Oh, can I have this one? I don't know. There's two pigs. Peppermint. Oh, I can't have peppermint. Oh. Oh, I can't have peppermint. Oh, for fuck's sake. I haven't had a hot drink yet. I need a hot drink. Can I have flavoured tea? Anybody? Uh, Becca again! Oh, Becca, let me show you. Look. <sighs> look, Becca. Wait. Kirsty with the sub! Nah, I told ya. Becca made that picture for me and I've put it on my bedside cabinet. Oh, I can't have any flavoured tea. Rainbow's there. I can't have any flavoured tea. Can I have peppermint then? Mint. I'm pinning your comment. Can I have peppermint? Yes. Yes, but okay, I have peppermint. Peppermint it is. I like this, I like this new healthy guru, Zach. You know, I just hope my boobs don't get saggy. I don't think they will. And then I've got my collagen. Am I still in pain? No, not really. Do you know what? Tasha, morning, doll. Do you know what, right? Nicki Minaj yesterday was one of the quietest, stillest concerts I've ever been. They were playing tune after tune before she come on and I just couldn't, I couldn't skank out. And then they'd done a thing where Everyone got in the middle and I just, I, the spotlight went on the thingy and I'm like a wasp to a, fl a fly to a flame with the spotlight. If I see a spotlight, I've got to get under it. I was born for the spotlight. And, <laughs> and I couldn't get under it and I was like, uh, and I just stood there for ages. We left, we left before the end. I saw all the main songs I wanted to see and then we left at like half ten. She had about five, six songs left. But we left because... Coming out of that stadium would have been a pain in my ass, and trying to get an Uber home as well. <coughs> trying to get, trying to get an Uber home. If I put this collagen in my tea, will it affect the collagen? Can I put that in hot tea? She finished at eleven forty. Oh yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, no, we left. Anything. Oh, perfect. How are you? I'll let it cool down first. I'll let it cool down. No, she was so... We were in the same room together, Beyonce's fan page. I know who you are. Oh. It's supposed to work in water. I put it in my... I put it in my juice and my shakes, too. Well, do you know what, right? So, um, what was it? What are you doing? Get out, you. I can't take you for walks. I can't take her for a walk. The dog sitter's coming. Not the, I've actually got a dog sitter, not the dog sitter. Um, the dog sitter has officially earned his name back to Vic D, because let me tell you, that boy has done me proud. He's done me proud. Morning, Papa Blaze. He's done me proud, he has. He has turned up when I, it was needed, and I thought he weren't going to. I thought he weren't going to. My amazing boyfriend that's never punched a hole in the wall. <laughs> Absolutely. A nice, healthy relationship. Absolutely. <laughs> Listen, I'll always be a shady bitch. Oh. Oh, 
I'll just, I might have to let that cool down. And then my auntie, my auntie came round and she's absolutely reset the house from top to bottom. Everything's got a place. Everything's in a storage box. All my washing is clean. We'll have all the collagen in there. Yes. Oh, it's curdles. Like, these creators that are going to want me to pop off about them are going to be so fucking disappointed. Because I'm going to embrace a new attitude and just be like, <laughs> and then move on, you know? Because whilst I'm having an opinion... No, I didn't put milk in it, I put a collagen thing in it. Whilst I'm having these opinions of these absolute dregs of society that do nothing for this app and do nothing, don't even give back to their fucking community, for fuck's sake. And they want to call themselves OGs. I'm sitting there thinking, fucking hell, when did you ever do a giveaway? When have you ever fucking... It's all fucking... People only do shit to make themselves look good. You know, I do shit. You don't even know half the shit I've done because I don't shout it from the rooftops. I move behind the scenes. If someone needs something, you got it from me. But if I can. But you get all these people that are like, oh, I did this and I did that. And I'm just, oh, it's like, oh fuck off, you loser. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you understand where I'm coming from. Oh, I'm going to have a cigarette by the window. Oh, it's so nice to be home. What is this T-shirt? This is not my T-shirt. Is it my T-shirt? Oh, no, it's his. One second. I just need to get changed quickly. Oh. oh, I'll be raging if I get saggy boobs. Because I'm not even that fat. <laughs> I don't want saggy boobs. And I don't want to have to go back to Turkey for more surgery either. Because <laughs> I ain't... Uh, why? What's happened? All right, you lot fill me in. What's been going on? Fill your boy in. One second. Let me just... Let me empty my ashtray. Yeah, I can't be doing... I can't be going back for surgery in Turkey again. No. Too painful. What's happened to Mimi? What do you mean? What's happened to Mimi? Hello, Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter, you're looking amazing, by the way. What do you mean, what's happened to Mimi? She's just an arsehole. <laughs> Why, what's been going on? What's, what rumours? What rumours have I missed about myself? Oh, I'm a good person, you know. I don't deserve this. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm home now. I'm home now. Do you know what? I really don't... Yeah, <laughs> new wardrobe. Well, to be fair, I like my stuff oversized anyway, so I don't even think I'm going to... And I'm quite... What? I'm broad. Oh, oh. Absolutely. I got a BBL. <laughs> We will do it. Yes, well, listen, my aunt, is, my aunt is taking all the parcels back to hers for now because there was not enough space. But if anyone does want to send anything to the P.O. box, it's in the bio. I like letters. They don't have to be gifts. I like letters. Oh. And I highly recommend going to Turkey for surgery if you come out looking like this. Hello, my prince. No, don't start on me, please, because I'm having... Listen... You have me today. I'm not like I'm not live all day. Yes. Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? You want a treat? Hey! 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 
Nay, none of this jumping around, because I'll deck you. I won't, I'm joking. None of this jumping around, because if I get internal bleeding and I am alive, RIP. Yeah, and then you get adopted again. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, come on, let's go and get a treat. You can have a pig's ear. Come on, then. Big up, Jade. Big up, Simone. Thanks, everyone. Oh, look, we're popular number four. <laughs> oh. I should be, I really should be taking, I'm having a lazy day today. I should be taking it easier. Like, consider, it's a week today that I had my surgery. So considering I've been to a concert, I've had a flight home, like, um, pigs here, where are they? Where's daddy put them? Where has he fucking put them? Oh, is he taking the piss out of me? Where has he fucking put them? Oh. Oh. Hold on. Hold on, kids. I'm trying to find him, but your fucking dad's an idiot. Oh. All right, one for Mr. Capone. One for Miss Mimi. Oh, no, no. And one for my king in waiting, Mr. Capone. Oh, good boy. Listen, have it. Good boy. What's this? Where's your Mr. Capone? What's your... Oh. Here you are, take it, because that's all you're having, because she's going to nick it. And good boy. Capone, have that, please. Mimi, piss off. Oh, get it. Good, he's taking it now. You have to play with it, so we'll take it. <sighs> oh, I can't bend over, it hurts. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Good boy. He goes, uh, uh, uh. Get it, get it. <laughs> that's, that's my distraction. That's my distraction. That's my five minutes pace. Let me get my phone. Is it for you? Is this for you? That's oh, Mr. Capone's. You keep that safe because she's going to have that off you. Oh. <coughs> but yeah, in the new part, in the new stuff that I've been thinking about, like iconic moments that have gone past, um, like, Iconic my you know, like stuff in history and that. I just want it to be like a big gossip, um, what's it? Like a big um, time capsule. I really have gone back to the drawing board. I can't believe what a shit show this week has been, yeah? Like, I'm quite disappointed in some creators as well, because I'm like, why, why are you not doing it? And I think, do you know what I've seen? I've seen a lot of ego. A lot of ego. I'm like, shit. Oh, who's that? Who said they watch TV? Is that Naomi? Naomi! Oh, it really is bad when you're watching TV. I am staying out of it. I don't give... A, the thing is, I don't give a fuck about a lot of them. I really don't. I really don't. There's two, three creators that checked in on me whilst I was out for my operation. I give a shit about them. But I don't give a shit about a lot of them. Like... What's their end goal? Like I like to th like I like to think that if I work hard enough, you won't just see me on TikTok. I want to be seen on other spaces, like my Spotify fucking podcast, all stuff like that. I want I'm going for the big guns. I don't just want to sit on TikTok begging all the time. 
you know but begging's essentially what's going to be funding me making my podcast and being able to get my equipment fucking the drone that I want's 1200 quid do you know what I'm saying like I want to put quality work out there but I actually want it to be pieces of work like an hour and a half long video where like I want to make like you know like a Missy Elliott video used to be like everyone used to wait for a Missy Elliott video and it used to be like one big production I want people to think like that with a Zach Brat video you know that's that's what I want to be like everyone like tune in on a Friday for my launch on a YouTube video you know and be like oh I can't wait for Zach's new video and then we all talk about it afterwards and you'll be able to talk about the video in boxes with me and like I want to be one of those creators you can actually speak to and interact with after watching something you know because I just it breaks my heart seeing people have such insens- insensitivity to like CA SA DV addictions like I just sit there and I think like you're all tramps man like having six and a half hour discussions whether someone's telling the truth whether they were assaulted as younger it's just wrong it's wrong it's crass it's like who the fuck are you and who the fuck do you all think you are to hold these debates it's toxic it's toxic yeah, a hundred percent. Like it's almost like a circus, isn't it? Like when you're taking a piss out of someone that's either like vulnerable or I don't know. That's why I don't really go in on some of the creators because they have got their own issues. You know, I think that's why that's sometimes why I'm quite lenient on CLA as well because. She's as mad as a box of frogs, and I've got a little soft spot for her. People would hate it. People are like, ah, how can you? She's this, she's that. I'm just, I look at her, and I think, do you know what? Her, she hasn't got... What's the mind of a regular 40-odd-year-old? You know? I see things for how it is. And I think I've cared less about what people think of me and all. Never liked him. I always changed he has. It's like, you know the shit with cockapoo, right? I see in um, some of DG's comments, oh, I've seen a different side to that this week. What? Because I don't agree with you lot. Because I don't agree. I don't like cockapoo. There's something about her I don't like. Can't put my fucking finger on it. Do you know what I mean? And she... How she's moved with me has been a shady, sneaky way. And she has. That's my opinion. And... Then she put a video up of a post that she'd sent me by text, which I never denied, trying to make out that I said that she never... And I was like, if you've watched my live, you would have seen that I said, she sent me this pointless shit because they didn't like it, the comment cafe were in my live. 